Hi guys, Jonathan McNear here with Winning Solutions Inc. And I'm going to be showing you some of the features that are included in our rental database um, access template. Uh, these templates are available to download from our website, uh, microsoftaccessexpert.com. And there is a free demo version for you to try out, as well as a runtime version and a full open source version as well. So this is the main page uh, once you've got that uh, template downloaded. Um, in here you can see the top 25 newest rental items. Um, it shows their status if they're in the store or out, uh, the date that it was rented on, and the due date. Uh, there's six main features here. First one I'm going to run through is the customers tab. Um, in here you can easily add in uh, a customer. You can put in their customer ID, their first name and last name. Uh, phone numbers, email, uh, address, home address, um, ID type, whether they have a driver's license or passport, that number in there for extra security. Uh, once you've entered in all of that information, you can then uh, hit the save and close button. Um, I've already entered in my um, information here, so after opening this back up, you can click on the find customer tab. Um, type in my last name, here we are, Jonathan McNear. Uh, after double clicking on here, it's going to pull up all of my information that I have entered in here. Uh, customer ID number, first and last name, etc. Um, and if I had any outstanding balance, it would be uh, shown right here. Uh, I have not rented anything out yet, so the customer history report is going to be blank. Um, but it's, this would show all of the, the history of that customer uh, within this page here. So. Once you're done with the uh, entering a new customer or, or searching a customer to see what their balance is, um, the next thing is going to be your rental items. Um, down here, you can um, find any of the um, items that you already have entered in the system. So, Fast Five is one of them. Um, in here, it's going to show the number of, of DVDs and Blu rays that you have. Um, the cost of each one and then the sale price of each one as well. Uh, the date that you received them and um, whether or not the movie is out as rented or not. Um, you can also view the item history. Um, so it's going to tell you that um, this, this item was um, rented out by Andres here. Um, he paid a late fee and all of the prices here as well. If you wanted to enter in a new uh, DVD or Blu-ray, um, it's pretty easy and simple here as well. Um, so if there's a new Minions um, 3 movie, um, you can add in a short description of the movie, uh, specify whether or not it's a DVD, Blu-ray, or a video game. Um, and then in here is the pricing groups. Um, you can specify the pricing for each each different group, whether it's Blu-ray, DVD, um, new releases, or just the, the older catalogs here. You can also um, specify a sale price if the customer wants to purchase the DVD from you. Um, and once you have all of that information in here, um, And you can also specify whether or not the DVD has subtitles on it. Uh, after you hit the save and close button, that's going to update the system um, and add in your new movie. So back up in here in the find items, I can search for Minions 3, and there it is. It's going to show me um, if, I, if anyone had rented out the DVD, I could hit items history, and it would show me the customer names and the and the transaction date um, when it was returned and what they paid for it. Um, so the next tab that I'm going to go over is the process transactions tab. After clicking on this you can search by the customer's last name or if you specify over here you can search by the customer ID number. Typing in my last name here it's going to pop up with my uh, customer ID number and name. Double clicking on it it's going to open the transactions tab. Uh, the first thing it's going to prompt you with is for a user password. Uh, this is so that no one other than your employees can get into the system here. Um, it's going to automatically tell me the number of movies that I have rented out as a customer. So I have three. 
um, if I had any outstanding balance it would be a, uh, available here um, but I, ha I don't have anything uh, past due at the moment um, if I wanted to uh, rent out a new video you can scan the item uh, using your scanner gun otherwise you can hit F8 or the movie search tab down here so say I wanted to rent out uh, back to the future it's going to pull up um, the different uh, formats I have, DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, one is already rented out, so I'm only going to have these two options available. After double-clicking on that, it's going to tell me uh, what my due date is and the price um, for that rental. Down here, if I wanted to sell the movie, I could. Otherwise, I can void the transaction, view the customer history, or pay now. Uh, after clicking on the pay now tab you can specify whether they're paying with cash or with credit card um, if they're paying with cash you can enter in the, the bill that they give you if they give you a ten dollar bill it's going to tell your employee the amount of change they need uh, if i'm paying with credit card then there's not going to be any change needed uh, after i hit on the pay tab here it's going to close the transactions page and uh, show us the customer invoice so right here it tells you um, you know the rental date, time, um, price, and the change if there were any. So once you're done with that, um, the next thing would be to return an item. So uh, the first thing it's going to ask you for is that password again. And if I had the scanner gun with me, then I could just simply scan the item. Um, it'll pull up the transaction uh, receipt and it will tell the system that the item has been um, returned back into our, our inventory. The next feature I'm going to go over is the reports tab. After clicking on it, you can specify if you want to view a uh, late movies report or you can view a report by sales date. Uh, so if I click on the sales by date, uh, it's going to ask me to enter in the date that I want to view. So I'll enter in today's date here. After clicking OK, it's going to pull up my uh, sales report. Down here at the bottom is going to tell me the number of movies I have that were rented out today, uh, the number of movies returned, um, your total, and it also splits it up uh, depending on your payment type. So you got your credit card payments and then your cash payments. Once you're done viewing the reports, you can simply close. Uh, otherwise, you can um, print out those reports. Uh, the last tab here is going to be your settings tab. Uh, so this is more of a um, company tab. So in here, you can specify which formats you have. Um, just a minute ago, I added an Xbox One format uh, if you wanted to start carrying Xbox games. Um, the next tab over is your pricing tab. Uh, this here is where you can specify the prices for each type. Uh, so if you have new DVD releases, um, you can enter in the rental price and the late fees um, and specify that between Blu-ray or the older ones. Uh, the next tab over is the salesperson. So this is where you enter in new employees. Um, you can specify whether they are a manager or a cashier. Um, enter in their uh, own password um, that way that they can access those uh, transaction and return tabs uh, and the last one here is our company information so this is where you enter in your company's name um, and your address and everything like that so this was a quick overview of our rental database system uh, if you have any questions or um, concerns about it please feel free to contact us um, we would be happy to make any modifications to this database uh, that you would like or you can purchase the templates from our online um, website microsoftaccessexpert.com thank you